In this video, I'll show how to automatically send birthday emails to Outlook contacts using Power Automate. You can add birthdays to the Outlook contacts. We will create a Power Automate flow that will send birthday emails to those contacts when their birthday arrives. I have another video where I have demonstrated how to send automatic birthday emails to people whose data is stored in an Excel file like this. Let's create the Power Automate flow to automatically send birthday emails to our Outlook contacts. This is the Power Automate dashboard. You can open the Power Automate dashboard from the Outlook web by clicking on the App Launcher icon and then selecting the Power Automate menu. Or you can log on to make.powerautomate.com to open the Power Automate dashboard. I'll select the Create menu. Here I'll select the Scheduled Cloud Flow option because we'll set up the flow once to run every day and check for any birthdays. I'll add a name for the flow. I'll keep the start date as it is and set the start time to 9 am. So the flow runs in the morning. For the repetition, I'll change it to day. Now the flow will run every day at 9 am starting from today. I'll click on the Create button. First we need to get the contacts from Outlook so we can check their birthdays. I'll click on the plus icon to add an action. Here I'll search for gate contacts. I see the gate contacts v2 action under Office 365 Outlook. I'll select the action. We need to select the contacts folder here. By default, Outlook stores contacts in the contacts folder. I'll select the contacts folder. You can create custom folder in Outlook and set it here to automate birthday emails for specific contacts. I only have one contacts folder in my Outlook and I have selected the same folder in this folder ID option. Now under advanced parameters, I'll select the option top count. By default, the gate contacts v2 action retrieves only 10 contacts. With the top count field, we can say how many contacts it should pull from Outlook. I'll set it to 1000. I have around 30 contacts in my Outlook but you can have thousands of contacts. You need to set the top count value according to the number of contacts you have. Using this get contacts v2 action, we are getting all the contacts from Outlook, but not all of them will have a birthday added. For most people, only a few contacts will have a birthday added. I'll add a new action. I'll search for filter array. I'll select this filter array action under data operation. With this action, we will filter out the contacts that do not have a birthday added. For the input of the filter array action, I'll click on this icon that says enter the data from previous step. From the get contacts v2 action, I'll select the body slash value that contains all the details from the Outlook contacts. This is the output of the body of the get contacts v2 action. You can see the details it retrieves for the contacts. The display name, birthday, phone number, email address and all the other details. This contact has a birthday added so you can see the birthday field. But this person does not have the birthday field. Again this person have the birthday and when I scroll down I see for this person the birthday is not there. So in this filter array action we need to filter out the people who do not have the birthday field. We can do this using an expression. I'll select this edit in advanced mode. I'll delete the expression here and I'll click on this insert expression option. Here I'll add an expression. Using this expression, we are eliminating the contacts where the birthday field is missing. This is the name of the field as you see in the output. Item refers to the current record in the array since we have multiple contacts. The empty function checks whether the birthday field is null or an empty string. The not function cancels out the result of empty. So we get a clean output with only contacts that have birthdays. I'll click on this add button. Next, we need to retrieve the day and month from the current date so we can compare them with the day and month of the birthdays to identify matches. I'll add the next action. I'll search for current time. Under date time category, I see the current time action. I'll select it. The current time action provides the output like this. The time is in UTC format. We need to convert the time in the local time zone and extract the day and month. I'll add the next action. I'll search for convert time zone. I'll select the convert time zone action under date time. For the base time, I'll click on this enter the data from previous step. Then I'll select the output from the current time action. The source time is in UTC. I'll keep it as it is. I'll change the destination time to my local time zone. For the time unit, I'll select the option enter custom value. Here I will add uppercase MM 
dash lowercase dd because we only need the day and month. I will rename the action to current day month so we can easily identify it. Now we need a loop to check all Outlook contacts for birthdays. I'll add an action. I'll search for apply to each. Under control, I see apply to each. I'll select the action. For the input of this apply to each action, I'll click on this icon that says enter the data from previous step. I'll select the body of the filter array action. This body contains all the details of the contacts. This is how the body of the filter array action looks. This is similar to what we have seen for the get contacts action. This contains the data only for the contacts who have a birthday. Now we need to extract the birthday from the body. Inside the loop, I'll add a new action. I'll search for compose. Under data operation, I see the compose action. I'll select it. For the input of the compose action, I'll select this insert expression option and I'll add the expression here. This will extract the birthday for the current item in the apply to each loop. I'll click on the add button. Here you can see how the birthday looks. This is the field name and this is the output. The date is in UTC format and it's a long date. So we need to convert this into local time and extract the day and month. I'll add the next action. I'll search for convert time zone. Under date time, I see the convert time zone action. I'll select it. For the base time, I'll click on this option, enter the data from previous step. I'll select the output of the compose action. The compose action contains the birthday in UTC format. The source time zone is in UTC, I leave it as it is. For the destination time zone, I'll select my local time zone. For the time unit, I'll select this option enter custom value. Here I'll add uppercase mm dash lowercase dd because we just need the day and month. I'll rename the action to birthday day month. Now we will compare the current day month with the birthday day month. If we find a match, we'll send a birthday email. I'll add the next action. I'll search for condition. Under control, I see the condition action. I'll select the action. For the left side of the condition, I'll select this icon that says enter the data from previous step and I'll select the output from the current day month action. The condition is already set to is equal to. For the right side of the condition, I'll select the icon again that says enter the data from previous step here, I'll select the output from the birthday day month action. Now we will add one last action that will send the birthday emails. Inside true, I'll click the plus icon. I'll search for send email. Under office 365 outlook, I see the action send an email v2. I'll select this action. For the recipient, I'll click on this option switch to advanced mode. Now I'll select the insert expression option. I'll add an expression here. Let me break this down. Item represents the current record in the loop. The email address accesses the email address field from the contact. We are using the zero to select the first object in the array. If there are multiple email addresses, zero will pick the first one. This will pick the actual email address from the selected object. I will add this expression. I'll add a subject for the email and I'll replace this first name placeholder with a dynamic field. I'll select the insert expression option again here I'll add the expression. Item is for the current contact in the loop and I'm using given name to pick the first name for the contact. You can use any other field here. I'll click on this add button. I'll add an email body. I need to replace this placeholder. I'll delete this. I'll click on this insert expression button again. I'll add the expression here. Let's add the display name here to see how it looks. The display name contains the full name of the contact. You can add the first name or any other field from the output. I'll add this expression. This is a simple email, but you can design your email with more dynamic fields from the Outlook contacts. I want to add my email address in the BCC field. So each time Power Automate sends a birthday email, I get notified. Under advanced parameters, I'll select BCC. In the BCC field, I'll type my email address. The flow design is complete. You can watch this video if you want to send birthday emails with conditions such as based on the person's language, time zone or any other criteria. I'll save the flow. I have two contacts whose birthdays are today. I'll click on this test button. I'll select the manually option. 
I'll click on this test button again. Finally, I'll click on this run flow button. The flow is running. I see the message your flow ran successfully. Let's check the sent emails. Here I can see it sent two birthday emails to the two contacts. In the subject, we have used the first name and in the email body, we added the contact's full name. The flow will run every day in the morning as we have said in the recurrence schedule. If you want to add attachment or want to embed an image in the email body, then you can watch these videos. Leave your feedback in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.